What's up everybody, I'm Eric Hansen with Backpacking TV. I just left the REI store and spent $349, if you can see that there. I bought five items, including hiking shorts and a water filter. That is a lot of money, and that is gonna be out of the price range for so many people who are getting into backpacking. So, my goal for today is to find some budget conscious gear items at a big box store. It may rhyme with Paul Blart, Paul Blart, Paul Blart, Mall Cop. Um, and I'm gonna go see what I can find and reuse some real gear, tents, sleeping bags, I don't know. I'm gonna see what I can find, I'm gonna buy some real gear, I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna make this video all about the best budget gear you can find at Paul Blart. I mean, the big box store. All right, let's do it right now. I'm pretty curious about this guy. One person backpacking tent. Let's see, 3.6 pounds. Might have found my new tent, 30 bucks, not bad. Okay, I actually think that was pretty successful uh, and encouraging. I spent $180. I bought a tent, a sleeping bag, a sleeping pad, a stove, a cook set, cutlery, a headlamp, camping gas, like fuel for cooking, uh, I bought a shirt and a pair of hiking shorts. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I didn't get a backpack. They did have like a 45 liter backpack, but I didn't feel very good about that. Uh, I didn't think I could fit what I needed to. The biggest question mark I have moving forward is going to be my sleep system. The sleeping bag is rated to 30 degrees and it's pretty big. Um, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go. And then my sleeping pad is a foam pad that I've spent many years railing against that we can do better than that. Uh, so that'll be new for me. I'm gonna try it out and I hope it doesn't totally, utterly suck, but uh, it's pretty awesome that I can get out of there for under 200 bucks with a lot of my camping equipment uh, that I need. Now, of course, there's still some bits and bobs here and there, and of course a backpack. Um, but um, that's pretty good. So now it's time to take it all into the field. I think I had a pretty good haul in Walmart. I actually feel pretty proud of what I got. And everything here, including what I'm wearing, uh, aside from shoes, I guess, uh, counts up to less than $200. It's like $195 altogether. Yes, this amazing shirt is included. I got this sweet Wrangler shirt for uh, $14. Uh, these uh, shorts, they are from Wear First. They are $29. I got this 30 degree sleeping bag, uh, comfort level 30 degrees, weighs in at 3.5 pounds. This was a $30 sleeping bag. Amazingly, my whole tent, uh, which also weighs, I believe, 3.5 pounds, uh, also was $30. This thing uh, is interesting. I'm excited to actually set this up and see how it goes. I think I found where two pounds of that three and a half pounds is, and it's in these steel stakes. Uh, literally, these stakes are beefy. Also, among my repertoire of items, I got this headlamp for $10 that included three AAA Duracell batteries. So, you know, if you just want to go buy batteries, just go get a headlamp with batteries included, uh, which also, this thing has multiple functions, including, I believe, even a red light function. So for $10, that's pretty dang good. It's 300 lumens. I'm sure this will not be the most uh, robust or long lasting headlamp of my life. Also among my haul here is this Peak One stove from Coleman. This was also a $10 stove, and the fuel itself also came from Walmart, $6. That's kind of standard price for this. But uh, also, my cook set. Uh, this, I probably could have been a more conscious shopper and got a smaller pot. Uh, but this whole thing, it included a, a bunch of stuff, including now my, my camp cup, my cutlery, and it also came with a much bigger pot, kind of a silly sized camp pot. But if I ever want to cook for 22 people, I could use that thing. Uh, I believe that this cook system was about $15. So all pretty amazing. And 
I've got the thing that I'm most scared of, of the whole thing. I've got my fold up foam pad, uh, which if you've been around here on the channel, I have railed against these for years. I think people can do better than it, but they are cheap. So I was able to come away with this thing for I think $15. And uh, you know, it's probably not gonna provide the most comfort or the most warmth, but it is cheap. So it's got that going for it. Well, I'm just setting off from the car. I've got my bag all packed. Uh, I'm ready for an overnight with my Walmart kit. This backpack is the Outdoor Vitals 45 liter. My shoes, my socks, my underwear, and this backpack are not from Walmart, uh, nor will be my backpacking food. Okay, I think I found camp. I'm about to set up my $30 one person uh, tent from Walmart, uh, Ozark Trail special. I am very curious as to how this is gonna go. Okay, so I just set up my tent and I did make one pretty big mistake right off the bat. So uh, that's a no, 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 no. Don't put your tent on a cactus. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is. This is what a $30 tent will get you. So this is from Ozark Trails and this is sold at Walmart. And uh, let's, uh, let's head on inside. So I've got my uh, nice little low entry, but it is, I can sit up in here. This uh, is better than I thought it might be. So a couple of things, a couple of luxury features. Comes with a nice vesh, uh, mesh vent right here so I won't suffocate overnight. And actually, I have a decent bit of room in here. And uh, yeah, this actually isn't bad. I'm kind of amazed that a $30 tent could be under four pounds and could actually look like it has some features. Now, I'm sure that this is not the most technical fabric. I have no idea what this would do if rain actually uh, starts coming in on me. It does appear that there's actually some like ceiling going on up here, sealant. Oh, I forgot one other nice feature. Um, this tag is kind of in the way, but look, I can uh, put my cell phone here. So other things to note is it's got uh, a pretty thick uh, floor. I'm sleeping on the Ozark Trails uh, sleeping mat. This is just a, a basic foam pad uh, that I think was 15 to $20. And then my, my big ticket item was my sleeping bag, which I think was 35 actually, not 30. I think I've said 30 before. Uh, but this is rated to 30 degrees. And it also weighs less than four pounds, which uh, the biggest thing to me, I was surprised at how small I was able to get it. It is a uh, synthetic. And uh, back in the days of yore, when I was growing up, this is the type of sleeping bag that I used to camp with as a kid, but they would never pack up small at all. Now this is still big, but it actually did fit in my backpack in a 45 liter backpack. So I'm pretty happy with that. See how this holds up as the night progresses. So I have noticed one negative about this tent is that there are absolutely no reflective properties on it. So uh, if you do happen to walk away from it at night, it's very difficult to spot. So I went for a little walk and now I found it, but it was not easy. Well, uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to pick this back up in the morning. I'm going to say good night from my cozy little tent here uh the tent definitely has some some flaws but i'll get that into that in the morning uh but you know i'm cozy i'm warm i feel protected from the wind things could be worse so here's to you have a good night well um last night was <laughs> suboptimal um i didn't sleep very well I did learn a few things about this tent and about the sleeping bag. One, this tent is, uh, it doesn't really vent at all. And uh, there is a ton of moisture that is pooled up on the sides, um, that is on the bottom of the tent now. 
there's only that little vent and it's just not enough. I had to bust out the jackets and uh, even then I was still feeling pretty chilly last night. Okay, so the tent actually held up okay. It's uh, you know an inexpensive tent, it's not great, but for $30, it does the trick. And uh, the worst thing about it is the lack of ventilation by far. I felt very stuffy in there and it definitely uh, accrued a lot of moisture and condensation as the night wore on. So that is not desirable. I would love to see uh, you know, just a small improvement there, but it is, you're getting what you pay for. But one thing that I did like is this uh, tent pole structure. I do like that single pole ridge line and then you kind of stake it out so it's semi freestanding. It's a good way to save weight. You know, it's only a three and a half pound tent and a huge amount of that weight is actually in the tent stakes. So uh, if you swapped those out with something lighter, you'd probably get it down to under three pounds, uh, which not bad. The zippers get stuck. Uh, I did zip the fabric in a bunch of times as I was trying to get in and out. I hate to say it, but I'm kind of a snob about the pads and it was the worst part. So, um, you know, just being that close onto the ground, feeling the lumps, feeling the cold. Um, there's just so little padding that my, my arms and legs would fall asleep, but I'd be wide awake. So uh, I just really was wishing for that uh, big, nice pad uh, mattress that's just so much better. If you have to get inexpensive gear, that's fine. But try your best to invest in a quality mattress because it will make the biggest difference out of everything that you could buy. Absolutely. Um, and then the sleeping bag itself, I, I wish that it was a little bit better, but honestly, it was pretty good. It was a 30 degree sleeping bag and it got down to 32 last night. I was kind of grumbling and griping until I saw on my watch that it actually was, I had it set outside that it got down to 32. So that's, that's a lot to ask of a, of a 30 degree sleeping bag, no matter what you get, even if it's a really nice bag. Uh, if the temperature rating matches the actual temperature, you're not very comfortable. Sleeping bag was probably the best item out of the whole lot. It is synthetic, it is bulky, um, but it does, it's smaller than I thought it would be. So it does compress down and uh, it's not, not a bad thing. So I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I'll give you my, the rest of my thoughts as a wrap up after that. Okay, I did wanna give a final bit of thoughts on everything here. I've got my gear laid out that I bought from Walmart here. And uh, starting with, I think the best item on the whole repertoire list is the sleeping bag. This was a 30 degree synthetic bag and it was honestly pretty good. And I like that it also comes with compression straps um, in, in the bag. So it can get down relatively small. Now, not small for backpacking, but small for like a sportsman sleeping bag. So I thought that that was uh, pretty good. So I, I think that that one was uh, was kind of the, the winner of the overall things. The other things that I really liked were the clothing. Um, I got this sweet uh, shirt from Wrangler that uh, honestly is going to be, if I ever go, need to go dancing down at the museum club here in Flagstaff, I've got a perfect shirt for uh, doing some line dancing. And uh, then these shorts uh, from Wear First, these are the $29 river shorts that honestly are great backpacking shorts. I've actually worn those for other trips. I bought those previously and those have been really, really good. So I like those. And then the other thing was the headlamp. I actually did a little bit of a night hike last night to, to go wander around. And uh, this headlamp was pretty good. $10 and it has multiple settings. It's got a flood setting and a spot setting and a red light setting. Um, so at 300 lumens for 10 bucks with AAA batteries, AAA Duracell batteries, I think that's a really good deal. So, so far, some of those items have been really good. Um, this cook set, um, was, this was a perfectly good pot. It's a little big, um, but it's light and it did the trick. It came with a cup and some cutlery and stuff like that. So for being like 15 bucks, uh, that's pretty good too. Um, a bit of a disappointment was the stove. 
um, it worked. It worked just fine. However, you can see some of those plasticky parts just really don't, uh, I just fiddling with it, they started to like come apart. So it made me feel uneasy about using it. I did use it and it worked just fine. It got water to boil and you can cook in it and do some things in it. But it just feels like the type of stove that will have a very short lifespan before it breaks. Um, the tent was, I'd give it a, a C minus, maybe a D. <laughs> it wasn't very good, but for a literally a $30 backpacking tent, uh, I mean, what can you ask for? It the, the worst part by far was the ventilation. Um, it just didn't ventilate properly enough. It got really wet inside and I felt like I was choking on CO2. Uh, so not, not exactly ideal, but it's light enough and it feels sturdy enough and it feels like if there were rain coming from the outside that it would uh, withstand some of the rigors there. This was the least favorite thing. This was my least favorite thing by far. This was my sieving pad, uh, but it had nothing to do with the actual quality of the pad. It's just the product that it is. Um, I just don't like those sieving pads. And I think that if my one takeaway, my one gift to you hopefully is that you can buy better sleeping mattresses and you will sleep so much better infinitely better okay that's it that's my gear breakdown from everything you can get from walmart honestly it's pretty good 200 dollars, and you can get going backpacking i highly encourage you if if money is an issue with backpacking there are some cost effective ways to get into it i have some other videos out there that are coming out about uh, cheaper ways less expensive ways to get quality gear so make sure that you check those out too because i don't think the outdoors should be solely for those who are ultra wealthy and just have a ton of disposable income so if this is the gear that you need to buy to get into backpacking that's awesome i totally recommend it but know that there are some products out there that will make your experience a lot better that you will enjoy your time more you'll be safer you'll be warmer you'll be more comfortable and uh, that's really you'll be having more fun and that's what it's all about so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please give it that thumbs up make sure you're subscribed here to backpacking tv i'm eric hansen i gotta go hike out of here see you later everybody